Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to watch our videos first. I used to watch a lot on YouTube when I was younger. Scrubs, don't up to scrub to avoid Jazer. And they still hit the shot, which he did, and they're gonna get a fifth <laughs> did goal. See, did you see what happened to Rizzo's car? <laughs> How excited are you about the new Mountain Dew uh, Championship in India and all of these things which are happening over here? It's <laughs> doing so well. These passes oh, are laser! What? With a huge double touch. My boys! What a shot here! This is for me, especially because of Rocket League, is just absolutely fantastic to see that the gaming and like the game I love is supported like this and this. These kind of events, they just show that for the gamers that uh, yeah, you can actually do something good and earn actually money and so on. It just makes them like more encouraged to play more and just practice and finally achieve the top top player title. And it's very good for the games and overall, it's just making everything possible in the end. Jazer! Oh! The, using the air <laughs> roll there just to get the double touch off the wall. When you air roll the ball like that, you'll typically be able to keep it straight on it when you're so close to the wall. That second bounce comes so fast. So we all know that it's not all fun and games and it requires a lot of effort and training to be at the level that you are. And so, uh, would you tell us how difficult is your training regimen? How much time do you spend uh, playing the games? And uh, do you ever play games for just fun like us normal peasant folks? Uh, or <laughs> do you always keep playing like a pro and are always busy streaming or stuff? Uh, first of all, I've been playing the game, the franchise, you could say, for seven years. So I don't need to, or I kind of don't need to play that much and like, practice so much that like eight hours a day so I try to keep it down so I can have like other other activities as well so I try to keep it as like four hours in average I could say but that includes like streaming and making videos and stuff like that but and I also like to have one day off in a, in a week just to make it more balanced for the life and that makes you actually like learn more like your brains they need to have one day off or they need rest so they can learn so it really helps and i would recommend that and i also of course because i love gaming i love the games that i play a lot different games as well to just enjoy and not only just like practice and trying to be as good as possible ridiculous from jazer and scrub jazer is the player to beat right now Seriously, it's he is the an unbelievable player to performance, beat. both offensively and defensively, and it must be so frustrating, especially to play against him, because he is not missing a beat with his interference and pressure. Yeah. So do you like India or not? I love it, especially because of the food. <laughs> so uh, he likes Indian food, does not find it too spicy. I was earlier having a conversation with him, so he told me it's not really hot, it's kind of good. Oh, baby, the passing. I feel so bad for Rizzo here. He doesn't have a clue what Scrub's going to do. He's trying to defend the near post and stop the pass to Jazer at the same time. I think he's just going to pick one at that yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. At that point, he's in no man's land. picking. Right. So, what would be your advice to budding gamers out there? There are a lot of people in India who are looking up to gaming as a professional career opportunity. And uh, what, would be, what would your advice be to them? What path should they follow? Uh, what all qualifications do you need or what do you exactly need to do with your life in order to become a pro gamer like you? Um, the biggest and most important thing is that you need to have the passion. Like, it starts from there. You need to have the passion for the game. You need to be able to join it or enjoy it even though you are playing it many hours and like practicing a lot. You still need to be able to enjoy Like If you don't enjoy it, then, then it's not the correct way. Uh, but like yeah it starts from enjoyment and uh, and I would say that you just need to keep your hopes up like I'll be playing the game for seven years or like the previous version of the game but I have only become like 
popular and like able to travel and making our living because the game became popular. <laughs> so it kind of needs some sort of luck as well, but just like do what you enjoy, like that way you succeed. And of course, if a player dodges, that's them. They're committed to that movement. So scrub, step up to scrub to avoid Jazer. And then still hit the shot, which he did. And they're going to get a fifth <laughs> goal. This is going to happen to Rizzo's car. <laughs> this is going to So, uh, very uh, nice words by Johnny about do what you enjoy and then maybe maybe after putting a lot of time, you would be able to succeed. A uh, little bit of luck factor also plays into it. Trying to explore that a bit more. Oh, just <gasps> getting back. What a what save, save by Jazer. Yeah, that was just... Apart from all of this, uh, what what would be your uh, advice in general to the gaming community, and uh, what are you what what did you see in India in terms of gaming community? Do you think it's at a mature stage now, or is it just starting now? Uh, what would be your suggestions be towards a lot of other people, and uh, do you want some other legislations also, some new rules to come up, or do you think that everything's good the way it is now? I see the passion, but I see that. It's still kind of in early stage. Uh, there's a lot of problems that can be fixed by just uh, supporting these kind of events more. The, that they, they show people that like gaming is possible as a career. But like I see that in India, the problem is that people don't have the right equipment, or and the biggest problem is that they don't have the good enough network or the internet to be able to play at the top. I get, so, I get the point, I get the point. <laughs> so, like, with these kind of events, uh, they just show the players that it's possible and, like, they are giving more sponsors for the gaming and that way more people hopefully would be able to play as a pro gamer. Absolutely bulldozed. <laughs> <laughs> It's totally irrelevant there. You just gonna build those fight. And how do you think Dio Arena is helping all of those young gamers, budding people, in order to uh, get towards that gaming career that they always dreamed of? These are the most important things to have something big like this, so that uh, people at home who are either watching it or the players who just didn't qualify, they just try try to make this um, make to these kind of events as well so like it's the most important thing to have have these so uh, it does help to have big names supporting you when you're out there or trying to make a career out of gaming so guys this was Joni from Flipside Tactics and thanks a lot man for the opportunity and that's a clumsy handshake because I'm holding the camera and guys, this was it. This is Ayatanaja from Inspiratorize.com signing off, folks. Stay inspiratorized.